two. Stewart wants it. Casey Mears doesn't want to give it up, and they just squirted Ryan Newman out of the middle and back to third. And you watch Jeff Gordon's team go to work. His number 24 car, Brian Vickers, spinning down pit road. Brian Vickers. And he impacts the barriers at the head end of pit road. That brings out the caution, which means drivers in the pit lane. Greg Biffle, Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch will probably just roll right on through to stay on the lead lap. Here he comes. Just too hot. Comes down pit lane just too soon or too late. He cuts on the pit lane carrying too much speed. He can't get it woed up. Hits the grass right into the water barrier. For about the last 10 laps that run, it just came on real slow, a small vibration. I was, I was this close to just coming anyway and saying, I don't care, we got to come in, I got a problem. Uh, and, then they, and then NASCAR said there may be debris in one. So, so I went more, one more lap, you know, thinking there would be a caution. And, um, you know, I went down in turn three that last time, and it went, and, and, I, and I caught the car getting in the corner, and then I, I, I tried to make it to pit road, and then by the time, right before I got there, it just came apart, and uh, the car came around, and we just got in the tire barrier. The 24 car, Jeff Gordon, just went a lap down to Tony Stewart, our leader. I just heard Jeff Gordon say, this car just jumped sideways on me. I don't know what's wrong with this race car, but we have got to fix it. He's slowing down again. I can see Robbie Lewis on the pit box. He is not happy with his race car. Chevrolet's not handled very well. Goodyear's you know, brought too soft the right side tire. Everything. in one piece. Tony Stewart and Greg Biffle are wearing them out. Stewart now has 2.7 seconds on Biffle, so Biffle closes it just a little bit. But they have seven seconds on the third place car, Matt Kenseth, and 10 seconds on fourth place, Carl Edwards. 40 cars going around in turn three. Turn three. Sterling Marlin in flames, Daryl. Yeah, I saw smoke come out, come out of it. That's oil, that's oil fire right there. I saw smoke. Fire out. And then it caught on fire. Get out of it. Very similar to what we saw happen to Ryan Newman here a couple of years ago. You need to get out of it. Caution is out. Smoke still coming from beneath the hood. And now getting into the cockpit. As they go to Sterling's aid, here he comes. That, man, that's a big fire right there. That's oil, oil fire. We saw that out of Ryan Newman's car here a year or so ago. I saw on the motor broke and uh, thought it was a normal deal and got it in turn three and it lit up and uh, I guess all oil on the headers and spun it around and tried to get it put out but uh, set the inside fire extinguisher off and had a really good car. We come from 41st to 10th on the green and uh, just wanted to count away the years, man. So uh, put us back up and uh, try to get them next week. Biffle stayed out. Stewart comes in. Tony Stewart led the most laps of Daytona in Martinsville. Still hasn't gone to victory lane, led the most laps today. Says the car is still too free when he tries to get back in the gas coming up off the corner. We had a really good car for about 20, 25 laps. And then Bimbo was a little bit better in that last 10 or so laps of the run. So we didn't feel we really had much to lose. Um, I, I think we'll be in good shape here. I think if he's patient, we get uh, we get, get up there, we'll have something for him. So. Does he have enough time and enough room? to get back to Greg Biffle. So far, Matt Biffle, he's down there going by three of them at uh, one time, two of them at one time. But while he's doing all this right now, Greg Biffle, with 23 laps to go, has pulled out to a second and a half in front of him right now. I hadn't really gotten away, though, like I thought he might. Greg Biffle, coming off turn four. Fifth win of the season, eighth win of his next Cup Cup career for Biffle. The team has done a great job. Uh, you know, everybody on here just does a fantastic job. I mean, the shocks, the engine, the, the bodies, and, and Doug and the engineer, and everybody works so well together. Uh, they make the cars easy to drive. Today was a little difficult. I had to work pretty well. <laughs> it made it look easy, but uh, Tony had a fast car, and uh, so did my teammates. When uh, Tony took four tires, you made the decision to not pit at all. Was that your decision, or was it Doug Richard, your crew chief? Um, it was mine. I just stayed out. Um, you know, it's so hard to pass here track position like we talk about every week and uh, you know I was hoping that you know six or eight guys would stay with us and uh, you know give Tony something to have to burn his tires up to get back for but uh, what a great deal day for Roush you know I think three or four in the top five pretty excited about it